Alright. Alright, alright. We are back. Finally, I had to take care of some stuff. We are back. We're in the divisional round of the playoffs. We've got the Philadelphia Eagles, which means the Cowboys got upset by the Seahawks. Wow. 20 to 6 to 20. The Eagles barely squeaked by. Can I look at the game? Oh, I can. Wow, a 23-point fourth quarter to get the win. Wow. So going to the fourth, the score was 17-6. to six. Wow. Uh, any other close games? We beat them P63, 26-20. Was that overtime? Yes, it was overtime. Wow. I have a little lady. Do you want those or no? Yeah, you can give me a couple on up here. It's the ones. Barbecue sauce. Yeah. Thank you, ma'ams. Do you want your pizza one out? No. All right. Oh, the Bills blew out the Bengals. Patriots are still in it. Chiefs beat them. Jags got the bye week. Trevor Lawrence versus. Josh Allen, Matt, yo, Mac, Mac Jones, that is not I can't think, is that his name, it just don't sound right, yeah, Mac Jones, I don't know, I just had a brain fart, right, versus Pat Mahomes, then you got Russell Wilson and Tom Brady, and then a rematch from week one, Jalen Hurts and Matt Ryan. a rematch from week one, if you remember, they beat us, 30 to nothing? 30 to nothing. Oh. 30 to nothing in week one. And here we are. Ready for revenge. We've been beating down everybody. All right. Week weekly awards. Am I right? Yep. John Kaminsky. Yep. Um, we also got playoff blizzard. Oh, man. We're playing in the snow. All right, fellows, I'm sure you're aware of forecast calling for blizzard-like conditions out there this week. So expect far less than ideal conditions. Okay. Far less than ideal conditions. Snow. It's like the, snow is like the great equalizer. The Eagles are a dangerous team even in regular circumstances. Okay, that's what he has to say. Weather the storm, both players team control accelerate, change of directions, and reaching the normal top speed. Alright. Business as usual. Beat them Eagles. Beat them Eagles. And we're going with the same strategy we've been doing the past few weeks. Defensive focus, stopping the scramble. Offensive focus. Counter the blitz. Um, no, five sacks is our goal. Win the turnover battle. Sack him three times. We go with five. And pass for 275. We're going to try to rush for it. Mm. Yes, no turnovers. We'll just do no turnovers. Stay. Safe, no turnovers. Play a good game. It's a clean, clean game. Upgrade these guys. Matt Hennessy. Why is his morale down? We're in the playoff. Okay, Felipe Franks. Why is his morale down? He's got he got to play in the playoffs. Calvin Ridley and his morale is down. Oh 
my guys still out for one more week? They are. One more week. So if we win this, we play the winner of the Bucks and the Seahawks, and they get to return for that. What's their uniform going to be? Okay, they're going black, so we need to go white. We're going to go color rush white. And here we go. Football brings you the divisional round of the NFL playoffs and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Falcons and the Eagles and it comes your way next. Well, you folks at home can see the evidence. Snow and supposedly a few inches yet to fall here at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. Ahead will decide the second entrant to next week's NFC title game as we've got a great one in store between the Atlanta Falcons and the Philadelphia Eagles. Welcome again, one and all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Brandon Gunn on hand alongside Charles Davis. And yes, the storyline here, the weather. Snow and more of it expected as this game continues. So how will that impact how this one goes? Can these teams ignore the distraction and the strangeness of playing in a snow game? Because it actually affects the crowd as well. That big roar you get is often muffled when there's a snow game. And the second part, what's the footwear you got on? Does that fit the turf you're playing on? And how will it handle as things get a little bit slick? All right, let's go. They get ball first. Who Dukes will come out on fire. Final ticket to the conference championship round. We'll know soon enough as we are underway here on a January afternoon. And it takes this near the 25, just a little past there. Call it the 26. Phillies All right, what's, what's Jalen been up to? 22 and 7. The second round pick who started his career in Alabama senior season in Oklahoma and we can talk all we want about football being a team game and leaning on different parts and aspects in order to get it done and that's entirely true during the regular season some weeks it's the defense the special teams running the football but in the playoffs all the pressure reverts Go to the quarterback and he has to play well and play at a really high level in order for his team to win meanwhile they take a shot to start the drive but this is going to wind up incomplete now this one complete on the slant route. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Throwing his hurts. Wait, let's go. A.J. Terrell. Picked off by A.J. Terrell. Touchdown. Let's go. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Falcon defense has a touchdown. And we'll see if that pick six looms large as this game continues because we've seen plays like that alter a lot of playoff contests over the years. I would agree with that totally. And you often think to yourself, why do they alter it so much? Because after games, don't we hear coaches and players say, well, one play doesn't usually determine the outcome. But I don't think that's really true to you because there's times when you see plays like that and all of a sudden the momentum jumps to that team side. It deflates the other side and they never pick it back up. And then things really go from there, don't they? That's the thing for me. We talk about momentum changes. A play like that is the ultimate momentum change. Extra point through the snowflakes. Up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. 
And a short kick taken at about the 16. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. They trail here early in this division round game as they seek a spot in the NFC title bout. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 24. Boston Scott, his first carry. Three yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. That is incomplete. Well, he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. Play action. Here's Hurts. That'll be caught downfield by Bird. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 21 yards there on the third down. I love that play, because in the snow you think run, run, run. Big passing play there. And defenders hate it, especially in open space, because trying to come under control, break down, and make a tackle in the open field, difficult normal conditions. In these conditions, almost impossible. On first down. It's Scott, and the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front, so when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out, because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game, and that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing in the line of scrimmage. 13 yards remaining on second down. Hurt sets up to throw it. Right side caught by Jackson. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And that is incomplete. On fourth down, here's Matt Bosher on the punt. Cordero Patterson deep for Atlanta. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Let's go, boy. Bring it so here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. They'll be led out by their now 36-year-old quarterback who's in his 14th NFL season, the former MVP, Matt Ryan. And what a great game that was to watch last week because he put on a show in the wild card round with five touchdown passes. So if you ever want to see what a hot quarterback looks like, watch that tape. Let's see if that same hot quarterback shows up in this one. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Only a couple there, so he'll be brought down about the 28. They go play action now. Ryan. Oh, he's got his tight end pitch complete. Let's go, and he let's gets go, us to the go. other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking of throwing to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Here's Ryan. There goes a deep ball, end zone. And this one is incomplete. Now hold everything here, we're gonna get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. I'm trying to figure out why well, my guys don't have superstar abilities. It kind of sucks. Defense gets them. The other team's offense gets them. I just can't get superstar abilities on them. I mean, they got them. I just don't use them. Or they just don't light up. Aaron it out. Looking for Ridley. 
And this is caught. Go, let's go. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive. And these aren't ordinary completions. They're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way. Oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's got him? Someone cover it. That type of indecision can open up to even more big plays. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. Patterson gets past one man. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. This Eagle defense, they won't give in without a fight. This is third and goal. Peterson. Yeah, boy, a good surge defensively. It'll depend on the mark, but I'm not sure he got there. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We're soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what? Oh, right? yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. And his kick here is good. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? The turnover, you just noted it. Punt's, on the better, the punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn into first downs and hopefully yeah. punts. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Decent run, maybe hoping for a little bit more. It does those set up third and manageable? In every play, this run up is blocked perfectly and executed yeah. perfectly. Yeah, it's set up to go for a touchdown, yeah. right? But I like the way you described that one. Just get into a third and manageable. Nice decision making and took care of the football. On third down, it's Scott. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Let's it's go, a pickup of six. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now, on that one, what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. I don't want to worry about a Falcon. So here's a first if and ten. I would have known earlier that we couldn't watch the games. I would have never done it. Here's Hurts to throw. I'll just whip that out on a rainy day when I'm bored. Going deep here for Watkins. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Trying to go back to Watkins. That'll bring up second down. Which doesn't make sense at all because Off it's counterpart. Here's Hurts. Where I'm uploading the draft classes too. He'll get this out wide to Scott. You can watch and him he there. Slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him the football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best. It keeps him out of making all the big boys on. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. They'll drop to throw. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. 
And he'll be down at the 46. So they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. The timeout here is we got a player shaken up, and that's Johnson who's down on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Looking to throw. And he's got his big wide receiver complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. But this might very well have been four down territory, but that's not going to matter now. They get a nice throw there on third down, and they're able to keep the drive going. Buying time to his left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession. As they've got it with a second and four coming up. They'll try the left side with Gainwell. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. From the gun, it's Hurts. Going up top. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Here's Matt Bosher now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And they won't try and pooch it. It's a fake. And he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. And the Falcons' defense stands tall. They'll get the football back. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. That's done. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. Now that's how you start to get back in the good graces of your head coach. Remember, he fumbled on the last possession. How about the faith they showed him, giving him the ball again, and he repaid him, picking up a first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. <laughs> going to be a favorite target couldn't hang on <coughs> they just have to get out of their own head because they understand how tight windows are there and how many bodies are there and sometimes they just overthink it and, don't oh, he went up, huh? and that'll be it <laughs> do have a penalty flag down however let's see what that's about legal teaching so this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Ryan. He finds his man complete. Oh, wow. That's Peterson. He's so close. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. They'll get Go for there. it. Leaves him just short for fourth down. That was a heck of an effort to stop him just short of the marker, but now they're going to need another Go for it. fourth down on defense, I believe. Take because the field offensively, goal. they went from third and long to now it's a ghost situation here on fourth and inches. We'll take it. And his kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. 
So they wind up turning the turnover into points as they convert there for three. Yeah, that was a nice job there to force the fumble. They recover, hand things over to their offense, and then the offense went down and got them three. That alone, that's not enough to win a game, but both units able to do their jobs on these last two drives. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And this is not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness Maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. He'll look to throw. Wow. What a terrible throw. Why would you go back that way, Deion Jones? Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. They'll run on first down. It's Davis. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Yo, what up, what up, what up? I'm Here's good. How are you, Davis. Dragon Ball? And he'll get it here to the 10 yard line. How are you? We've got Two this. yards, good enough for a first. It's nice every now and then in this game. Uh, PS5. I'm on PS5. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. You good, you good? That's good. They give it to Peterson. And he will nice. fight his way into the end zone for a Falcon Go. touchdown. Adrian Peterson. Ah, PS4, I got touchdown you. Run. And the Falcons continue to pull the playoff surprise as they lead to be big here on sure, the Sure, man. Uh, Extra point by Koo up and good. Well. And that pushes the lead up to an even 20. The Falcons for LFE. Following the touchdown Dash is TTV. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to score. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Dante Fowler. I got all day. And he the sack it. as he buries him for a loss of 10. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Hey, Cracker been in that cabinet for six months. You ain't touched him. Now get him off the middle, take it in. They get him to the ground right on Looking the cusp here, of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. That catch good for five. It's third down. He'll look to throw. I pick. Let's go. Grady Jarrett. Huh? Picked off at the 17. Oh. And great field position coming up in the <coughs> zone at the 17 yard line. On first down, Davis. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15 yard line. Eight yards to go on second down. Patterson on the draw play. And they'll get to him just inside the 15, even after that strong run we witnessed. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. Cow, Pitts. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it, it's not what a very it generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Just Falcons for LFE dash BTV. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. And this one is right through. And that will up the score now. It's 23 zip. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points due to his leg. The Eagles.
Bengals offense set to begin their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big the play here. Be the yard. And they'll try and run for it with Gainwell. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Let's go. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on Divisional Round Weekend. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful Divisional Round Weekend. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 14 yards that time for number 14. On first and 10, it's Hurts. He'll check this one down to Gainwell. And he'll get it down here to the 43. They'll hey, contain you know, him to just four. Second down. Feel like it. This? Oh, yeah, this, this one all oh, almost okay. intercepted. Black Far window. too loose with the football. Nearly Black a window. Black Black window. I got you. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Yeah, I got it. Back to throw again. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Boom, the Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Oh, this is off the side of his foot. Oh, yeah, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25. So we got a minute 20 to score before halftime. Yeah. Oh, we're not definitely with the throw. First down with I Ryan. Aaron it out, looking for Ridley. Huh? Oh, it dried out. He's got a man <laughs> complete. Touchdown. Never you grill a burger and they took them all the way like this. And he Calvin rolled up the drive. 76 yards. And the Falcons continue to pull away here in this first half. When today's like NFL, you know, we talk about like quarterbacks and their speed pink, and like accuracy, but white there's pink. still something about a guy slinging one up. downfield. Let's and I tell you from my broadcast booth, because so we're pretty uh, close to the 50, more, we had the best view, crazy. a bird's eye view Whenever of that took them throw, all the way. and it was an absolute the thing of beauty to watch. It never smoke. ceases to amaze me, the arm strength of these guys. And the next-gen stats, they tell the story. That's a full 67 yards in the air. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And in a spot like this, still more than a minute. The Chiefs beat the Patriots. So it's the Chiefs and the Bills. I mean, now they're big. Good forward. It's an interception. Picked up Richie by Grant. Richie Grant. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. <coughs> After the interception, here's Ryan. That's going to be caught Let's by go, Pitts. Kyle Pitts. Touchdown. Kyle Pitts, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Falcons are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Jalen Hurts in this offense trotting back out. The Eagles offense oh, set to begin over. their next drive. Now, last time wasn't pretty. One yeah, play and interception. We'll see if they can do better. <clears throat> I want to see if they want to go ahead and okay. throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happened. No matter, Brady. The Eagles going to take the first of their blow, timeouts. Blow that one up as they'll first. stop it with a tick under a minute to go oh, before really? half. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. He'll fire it deep for Rager. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Jalen Rager was the intended receiver. But now it's third down. On the give. This is their fullback. 
No get in there. On the play there, a nice job defensively, oh. and it likely forces a punt finish, situation finish with it? on four. Here's Matt Bosher now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And the return man will shuffle through the white stuff, secure the fair catch with both hands. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And control the football, it? switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. He's got Mason complete. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. Now we're putting our backups in already. Bradley King there, Hogan Deji there. All right, put the muse there. Is that right? No, 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 no. yeah. That'll work. And then there. Um Yeah. Yeet. What up, Scootrix? We are over cheek with some claps. We in the playoffs, see? Oh, man. <sighs> and here comes throw number one for the backup QB. And his throw is going to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you had. Maybe you get it in pre snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Franks, third down from the gun. That's caught over the middle by Hurst. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the Let's 30. Go. Let's do this. First catch <coughs> for his playoffs. He was held down one last week, but he's got a first down on that effort. So, Charles, you look at this offense, you think about it, you got a rookie quarterback at the helm. You're in the divisional round of the playoffs here. Uh, that head of his just has to be spinning, doesn't it? Well, normally you'd have to say yes, but I do think that the way things went last week, how he played in the wild card win, how sensational he was, that'll stop his head from spinning. And now he's in a situation 
is getting towards uncharted territory because you've got Joe Flacco, Mark Sanchez, the only two rookies to win two playoff games in one year. He's trying to join that company, but it's not going to be easy to get it done. Here's Goldman. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Man, ain't done nothing all day. Two yards, good enough for first. Franks. I don't know why you drive here, though. And this one's you can. Don't get me wrong. You can, but I don't know so why you do it. All you're going to do is sit on your phone. Same thing you're going to do with your app. <laughs> Goldman will run it. You may as well stay, uh, stay your game. Down here at the 12 yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Now, Franks. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20 yard line. Fletcher Cox coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. And his kick is good. And they're well on their way now as the lead grows even I larger. Went eight and came so back home. But on the board, all so can watch that. You ain't going to watch the game. You're going to sit on your phone board. the whole time. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points <clears> go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway. And whenever you get, when they're out on the field, get tired of being on your phone, you're going to fall asleep taking that. Happens every time. Hey, you can watch the game? Yeah. The whole first and second quarter, you're on your phone. The third and fourth, you're taking a nap. went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, nah, bro. Yeah, bro. calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. Oh, yeah. Yeet. Yeah. Throwing again Man. on second down. Hurts. And that is incomplete here. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Here's Matt Bosher now. They'll boot it away from about his 35. He gets this away. It's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up. But they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, try to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking. And I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Not one that I've ever met. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And they'll run on the inside handoff. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Working out of the gun, Franks. Complete to Zacchaeus. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now we're going to get a stoppage as, yeah, that looks like Jackson who's shaken up. We'll check on his status when we get back. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he brought down 
Just shy of the 40. I guess I'm gonna have to watch it on uh seven play this ticket. drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Franks now under pressure and down he goes. Davion Taylor, his second sack of the night. Here's J.K. Scott now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who could make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. Seven yards there. They play the, the Buccaneers for the third time this season. We've lost both of them. Now we beat them the first time. They beat us the second. We're the only team to beat them this year. This has not been his game. It's probably a big understatement. I mean, he is all over the place. Mechanics are off. Not accurate. Except if you're playing on defense because they picked off a good number of passes. Yeah, all the INTs, but they're throwing it off his back foot. Pressure coming, just chucking it downfield. He can't do that right now. No, you can't do that at all. And I think one of the hardest things for a guy having a day like this one is to find a way to just kind of get out of it, kind of get yourself back to neutral. Because what you try and do is make even more spectacular plays to make up for it, and it usually leads to more bad ones. He'll grab three yards on the play, taking it himself for the first down. Here's Hertz to throw. And quickly finding Rager. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Champ base, 17 and one. is Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. To throw again on second down. Hurts. Throw right side. Caught by Goddard, the tight end. Uh, and that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 14. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Jalen Rager was the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Hurts. Wow. And now here is another Deion interception. Picked up by Deion Why is he even on the field for one? He's at the 50. 30. I guess to make plays like that. And he takes this one back into the end zone. Touchdown. And the Falcon defense has a touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Their hopes of advancing past this divisional round hanging by a threat, if that, as they begin here with a first and 10 on the wrong side of the scoreboard. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Come on, let's go. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. 
Here's Matt Bosher now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Now, fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. Yo, y'all mind if we just run this clock out, over first and ten. Thank They'll you. begin with a run by Goldman. Hey, Gum Ben Mason. This one across the 45 before he's brought down. Are you serious? So that one will be accepted. Hands it off out of the gun. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. How do you skip like you are? It'll be second down. Oh. Yeah, I'll show you. Like you just go to go to super sim. Turn the speed down to slow. And then jump all the way to the end of the game. And you watch every play. But the the computer controls it. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Call that a loss of seven to bring up four. Here's J.K. Scott now. Then in between plays, you hit the edge to skip time. all the cutscenes and stuff. If you want to speed it up. Good Lord, what a punt. Scott to return it. A big boot that time. 57 yards the official distance. And that will come the offense as they take over. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. It certainly has not been the outing that they envisioned on their home turf in the divisional round of the playoffs, and they have been pushed around, and now their back's against the wall. That catch good for only a couple. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. They'll drop to throw. What a dive. Man, it's Rager. He's got it. And he's going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The defense shaking their heads. Not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll set up to throw. Pass incomplete. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Now back to throw. Dancing to his left. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. Looking to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. The punter Bosher on now as he gets this one away. Fair catch signal for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Now they try the right side here. Anthony Harris on the tackle. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. In trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Yeah, that should be close to game. One more first down and do. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll get this across the 40 and up to about the 42-yard line. The Pro Bowler Fletcher Cox there to get him down. 
Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. It's Franks now from the shotgun. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. And he's able to get and this that one is down to the 40-yard line. On, let's go. 15 yards, first down, Atlanta. We're going to the conference championship. Now a handoff here to his running back. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And they're moving on to the conference championship. How about this? What a tremendous feeling to get to the game that can All get right, you to see. the Super Bowl. A fantastic season. Oh, uh, you left click. Click your left your whenever, team, whenever you're selecting tough, a play. Tough way for it to end. Click left your left analog. Click it in. Good night, lady. Calvin really at the 119 yards on two catches. We only have four sacks, dang. I reckon. Hey. Grady Jerry, what up, Grady? Good night. Love you. Drew Dahlman. Let you see. We mean let you see. Gonna be entire team on twenty five hundred. Sweet. You want to see how? All right, you have to wait till the next game. Alrighty, we're off to play the Bucks. <laughs> 